Let's see if we can change some minds tonight, guys. Okay, so our first topic is uh, Matt Gates, and I'm gonna share our screen because he had a tweet that I think uh, specifically you wanted to comment on, Matt. So it says, "Breaking: Congressman Matt Gates calls on FBI Director Christopher Ray to fully disclose the role and involvement of S FBI operatives during the January 6th Capitol riot." More details coming, um, and then. He also included a, um, a letter that is, uh, if you find his tweet, it's you can read the letter, but also if you just full screen your screen, it's also legible. And the questions he has, if you guys want to know, there's he lines it out right there. There's three questions, right? And of course, he says, I expect an answer from your office by August 1st. Uh, thank you, right? But number one, in the year leading up to the events on January 6th and during January 6th itself, to what extent were the three primary militia groups, the Oath Keepers, the Proud Boys, and the 3% infiltrated by agencies of the federal government, including the FBI or informants of said agencies? Number two, exactly how many federal uncover, uh, undercover agents and confidential informants were present at the Capitol or in the Capitol during the siege? And what roles did they play? merely passive informants or active instigators. Number three, of all uh, unindicted co-conspirators referenced in the charging documents of those indicted for crimes on January 6th, how many worked as a confidential informant or as an undercover operative for the federal government? And that's got FBI, Army, counterintelligence, uh, et cetera, listed. So um, obviously they're aware that serious things went down on January 6th and they want to get some questions answered which will leave us asking why they all blocked the January 6th commission. So it's not a difficult one to figure out. Yeah, he voted against certifying the election and voted against having the uh, the insurrection investigated. And as uh, No Use for Names pointed out in the comments, he himself is being investigated by the FBI. So yeah, this just seems like a, a shiny thing that he's just trying to like, I don't know, make us look at for a minute just because of like his horrificness. But um, Fun fact, uh, while researching this last night, I learned that the whistleblower from Florida who, yeah, uh, Rebecca Jones, uh, actually has said that sh if no one is going to step up, that she's going to attempt to um, unseat him. If it means like she'll move back to Florida and attempt to unseat him if that's what needs to happen. So I think that that's kind of cool when just like, I don't know, everyday people and uh, she seems kind of like a boss. Uh, kind of everyday person, considering she was trying to expose uh, Death Santis for what he was doing during COVID, uh, would also take it the next step to run for office. Because I, I don't know, that just seems like the logical thing that moving forward, if we're going to get real change, that's how we get it. Um, I don't know like details fully, but I mean, the state government and local, they went after her pretty hard too, didn't they? Like, do you know some of the details on that? Or like, because I, I don't know them specifically off the top of my head. Um, yeah, I, don't, I didn't really follow it just because it wasn't um, my state. So I was like, no, but I I know that they, they flubbed the numbers and she was kind of exposing that they were flubbing the numbers. Guys, yeah, here's homework for all of us. Follow up on that. Go look up um, her story. And I think there was like, like possible like legal charges and stuff involved. Like she definitely, like they went at her, man. Um, so they might have poked the wrong person here. Be interesting yeah. to watch. Yeah, and Carnage in the in the comments is saying that she she loves her. So I was like, yeah, well, like she can't be like if she's got Carnage's endorsement, I'm immediately like, yeah, she's got to be doing something right. Hundred percent. It's almost like if Carnage endorses something, I'm like eighty percent on board already. I'm like, oh, interesting. I'm wondering, are there any other Congress people, you know, making the same request of the of the FBI? I mean. It just seems like such a weird thing. Like we have all these little tiny things happening, but n no real movement in our government. And I mean, sending a letter to somebody in any business setting and our government is a business doesn't do much if they don't want to provide you the information, you know, giving yeah. a, a deadline that will not be adhered to. I, I mean, I, I don't want to be negative Nelly here, but you know, no, you're you're 100 right. Like I said, I don't think his end game is because he actually wants them to investigate things. I think his end game is he's just trying to get uh, the heat off himself because, like, like as was stated before, like he himself is being investigated by the FBI right now. Right, right. Someone said that because that's what he was doing um, about a month ago. I mean, about give or take 
he went out and had that really weird interview on Tucker where he was trying to get ahead of that story, right, about him and possible underage women, things of that nature. Um, so he's got that to deal with. He could have a real challenge in his district, possibly. Uh, he's been running around with MTG, who we'll be discussing in a second here. Um, so like like Shai said, this isn't I don't think it's a real play. Like, I don't think he's really trying to get like necessarily get information through this. Maybe he's interested in something, no doubt. Maybe he's trying to look for dirt on the FBI, right, to disparage them, like, you know, kind of like they're looking on him. Right. Mm -hmm. like, so, for example, if you recall, um, like, so, like, they're asking about the Proud Boys and stuff like that, right? Do you remember that weird debate I had where he, like, I literally talked about how the dude and the Proud Boys, the FBI informant and things like that. So, there's there's definitely ties there, which is just fair questions, but that's why we need a real investigation, right? Not some bipartisan uh, sideline shots to deflect from real issues going on in his district and with him. So, yeah. And, you know, we don't know how, like, who, who has infiltrated Congress that was, like, pro. I hope the insurrection works. Like I have some speculations, but I'm like, he was not really on my radar as to have speculations about, but I'm like, oh, maybe he should be like, you know, we know anyone who didn't vote to certify the election. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so therefore, yeah. Then yeah, you could argue that he is, yeah. Someone who was infiltrated that was pro insurrection. Oh!